Hey guys, Cam here from todaysiphone.com and if you've been following us on YouTube or on our site for quite some time now or even in the last week you will know that I have reviewed quite a few different styluses or styli. Uh, I recently did a big comparison post on the best ones out there and one of them I didn't put in there for very good reason was this one. This is the Lunatic Chubby Stylus. These come in at $19.95, they're available in five different colours. Um, this is the least garish one, they were all look, made to look essentially like the old highlighters that you used to be able to buy. Uh, it's all sorts of voluminous colours. Now this, like a lot of other styluses, pretty much all of them, uh, uses a conductive uh, silicone tip on the end to, so that you can write and draw and scribble on your iPad. But the difference obviously is in its size and dimensions. Um, as you can see, it's chubby by name and chubby by nature. It's designed to look and feel like an old style uh, permanent marker or highlighter. Um, specifically designed, I guess, mostly for children who find it easier to grip uh, bigger pens. My daughter, three-year-old daughter, has been using the yellow one of these that I've got lying around um, for a little while now. So um, let's have a look at this pen and then we'll have a look at it actually working. On the end here, you can see it's quite a large black portion and it looks kind of solid until you realize that the very tip is actually quite soft and flexible so you, when you're actually using it it shouldn't feel too stiff it should actually feel very responsive the main body is isn't solid as such it's got this really firm but resistive rubber type feel and on the outside it's kind of a, a soft touch grippy texture so it's not it's it's hard to break for one. You can see I'm trying to bend this. It's very hard to break. It's very sturdy. It's designed to be kind of thrown around. It's not your stylish kind of stylus. It's just um, robust, rugged, and easy to grip for smaller hands or even people who struggle to hold small things if you're uh, not very dexterous. And now let's grab the iPad mini and we'll have a look and see so this is just a quick sketch, so you can see actually holding is quite chunky, as you can imagine. But it's still quite responsive, even if I'm not hardly pressing on it at all, it still picks it up on the screen. I say that now, it's decided not to work anymore. There we go. Um, but it does feel fairly good. I mean, obviously a child, when they're using it, they're not going to be trying to do it gently. Children tend to press really hard. And this tip actually, although it's soft, is very robust, it's very long-lasting. And because it's going to be pressed hard, you know, it's good to know there's a little bit of give in there because you don't want your iPad screen getting damaged. So, um, it does feel good. It's great for kids. Uh, I know my daughter's really enjoyed using it. She calls it her special stylus. I've had to keep this one in a package upstairs so that she can't get to it so that you guys can see it. But anyway, $19.95 for those. It feels really great. If, you're, if you have kids, uh, you want them to get used to drawing on an iPad or on a tablet or iPhone, then these are certainly worth your money. Definitely worth investing in them. And obviously with them being, apart from this one, obviously with them being in quite bright colours, uh, they're very hard to lose too. So check them out they're available on lunatic.com i'll leave a link to these pens in the description box as always but if you're not asking me anything in the meantime feel free to either use the comments or use my twitter account i'm at tip underscore cam and as always i will see you again soon